One of the pieces of Indy's gear that I kind of put into my mind without really looking was his shoulder bag. I always assumed that it was a leather bag. It's not. It's a military bag. A Mark 7 British gas mask bag. This Jones found object would lose its original cotton web strap and eventually be replaced with a leather strap and an adjustable buckle. The Mark 7 was issued to military and police against German gas attacks. The weird part is it existed during World War II, after the time period presented in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Speculation revolves around the bag being picked up at a London surplus store. In most costume arenas, the Mark 7 becomes preferable. According to IndieGear.com, when Temple of Doom comes around, a Mark 6 is used in place. And if Hollywood can change it, why can't I? This canvas bag for two bucks at the thrift store, and I'm gonna try and I guess I'm gonna make a little pattern and try and sew up my own bag because I'm not happy with what's going on. And the one that I made, I'll just have to exchange the parts. So after I'm saying I need to speed up this project so I can work on other projects. At the thrift store that I am never finding anything at, I find this bag, which instead of trying to sew so much, I think I'll just tear this thing down, give it a green hue. It's not as firm as the military bags, but that's okay. This project needs to move along. Move along. There are numerous variations for the Mark 7, evidently. Canada got mustard yellow, and there's also the expected olive green that's very common in the military. The snaps on the main flap are different occasionally. And there may be D-rings instead of O-rings attaching the cotton web strap. Some bags still have a divider separating the mask and the filter. It's speculated that Indiana Jones divider would be removed so that there would be more space for storage. Some Mark 7s have two vent holes, some have three, or just one. It wasn't a lot of fun to try to find a long, almost six foot strap of leather. Eventually, in my mom's barn was an old cinch strap that she used to use for one of her saddles and it was getting too dry to use anymore, so she let me have it, which thank you, mom. As much as I drove all over the place looking for leather, I couldn't have done it without you.